Welcome back to our YouTube channel, The Story of Samson, one of the most intriguing figures in the Bible, is a compelling narrative of divine empowerment and human frailty. Found in the Book of Judges, Samson's tale is set against the backdrop of Israel's cyclical struggles with sin and oppression and the subsequent need for deliverance. This period, marked by repeated disobedience to God, led to Israel's subjugation by the Philistines, a powerful and oppressive enemy. Samson's birth was foretold by an angel of the Lord, who declared that he would be a Nazirite, dedicated to God's service from the womb. Endowed with extraordinary physical strength, Samson's life was filled with remarkable feats and dramatic encounters that showcased the power of God working through him. However, his personal life was fraught with poor decisions and moral lapses that often put him at odds with his divine calling. This narrative explores the complexities of Samson's character, his divine mission, and the lessons his life imparts about faith, obedience, and redemption. Through his story, we see how God can use even the most flawed individuals to accomplish his purposes, highlighting the enduring presence and power of the Holy Spirit in guiding and empowering believers. Join us as we delve into the life of Samson, uncovering the profound truths and timeless messages that his story offers. To set the stage for Samson's birth, we must first understand the context of Israel's history during this period. Israel was under the oppressive rule of the Philistines, a situation that lasted for 40 years due to the Israelites' continual disobedience to God. This era is documented in the Book of Judges, a time marked by cycles of sin, oppression, repentance and deliverance. The Israelites repeatedly did what was evil in the sight of the Lord, leading to their subjugation by foreign powers. The Philistines, known for their military prowess and advanced iron weaponry, were a formidable foe. It was during this period of Philistine dominance that Samson was born in the town of Zorah, in the tribe of Dan. His story begins with his parents, Manoah and his wife, who were unable to conceive. The narrative takes a dramatic turn when an angel of the Lord appeared to Manoah's wife, announcing that she would bear a son. This child was to be a Nazarite from birth, dedicated to God's service, and would begin the deliverance of Israel from the Philistines. The angel's announcement was both a promise and a command. Manoah's wife was instructed to abstain from wine, strong drink, and unclean food during her pregnancy, and the child's hair was never to be cut. Judges 13, verse 2, 5. The angel's visit to Manoah's wife is a pivotal moment, drawing parallels to other miraculous births in the Bible, such as Isaac to Sarah and John the Baptist to Elizabeth. These instances highlight God's intervention in human history and his ability to bring life and hope where there was barrenness. The birth of Samson was thus set against a backdrop of divine promise and purpose. Manoah, upon hearing his wife's account, prayed for further guidance. The angel of the Lord graciously reappeared and reiterated the instructions, emphasizing the importance of the Nazirite vow. This vow, detailed in Numbers 6, 1-5, required abstinence from wine and other fermented drinks, avoidance of anything derived from grapes, and refraining from cutting one's hair. These outward signs represented an inward dedication to God. Manoah's encounter with the angel is marked by a profound sense of reverence and awe. He offered a burnt offering, and the angel ascended in the flames of the altar, a clear sign of divine acceptance. Manoah and his wife, realizing they had seen the angel of the Lord, feared for their lives, but Manoah's wife wisely reassured him that God would not have shown them such wonders if he intended to kill them. Judges 13, 19-23 In due time, Manoah's wife bore a son and named him Samson, which means, like the sun. As he grew, the Lord blessed him, and the Spirit of the Lord began to stir in him. Judges 13, 24-25 this divine stirring was an indication of Samson's unique role and the extraordinary strength that he would exhibit in his lifetime. Despite his divine calling, Samson's life was marked by personal flaws and questionable decisions. One of his first notable actions was his desire to marry a Philistine woman from Timnah, a decision that troubled his parents. They reminded him of the importance of marrying within the Israelite community, but Samson insisted, saying, She is the right one for me. Judges 14.3 Unbeknownst to his parents, 
this was part of God's plan to create an occasion against the Philistines. On his way to Timnah, Samson encountered a young lion. Empowered by the Spirit of the Lord, he tore the lion apart with his bare hands, a feat that foreshadowed his future exploits. Later, he found honey in the carcass of the lion and ate it, even sharing it with his parents without revealing its source, thus breaking the Nazarite vow of avoiding unclean things. Judges 14, 5-9 Samson's wedding feast became the setting for a riddle, inspired by his encounter with the lion. He challenged the 30 Philistine companions with a bet. If they could solve his riddle within seven days, he would give them 30 linen garments and 30 sets of clothes. If not, they would owe him the same. The riddle, out of the eater, something to eat, out of the strong, something sweet, puzzled them for days, Judges 14, 14. Desperate to win, the Philistines coerced Samson's new wife into extracting the answer from him. She wept and pleaded with Samson until he finally relented. When the Philistines presented the answer, Samson knew they had obtained it through deceit. In a rage, he went to Ashkelon, killed 30 Philistine men and gave their garments to his wedding companions, then returned to his father's house without his wife. Judges 14, 19, minus 20. This betrayal set off a series of violent retaliations between Samson and the Philistines. When Samson learned that his wife had been given to another man, he caught 300 foxes, tied their tails together in pairs with torches, and released them into the Philistine grain fields, destroying their crops. Judges 15, 4, 5. In response, the Philistines killed his wife and her father. Enraged, Samson attacked them hip and thigh with a great slaughter and retreated to a cave in the Rock of Etam, Judges 15, 6, 8. The Philistines then encamped in Judah, prompting men of Judah to confront Samson. They feared further retribution from the Philistines and decided to hand Samson over to them. Samson agreed to be bound with new ropes, but upon approaching the Philistines, the Spirit of the Lord came upon him mightily. He broke the ropes and found a fresh jawbone of a donkey, using it to kill a thousand men. Judges 15, 14, 15 Despite his victories, Samson's weaknesses often led him astray. One notable incident occurred in Gaza where he visited a prostitute. The Philistines planned to ambush him, but Samson escaped by uprooting the city gates and carrying them to a hill near Hebron. Judges 16, 1, 3 this display of strength further demonstrated his divine empowerment, yet it also highlighted his reckless behavior. Samson's downfall began with his involvement with Delilah, a woman from the Valley of Sorek. The Philistine leaders bribed her to discover the secret of his strength. After three failed attempts, Delilah wore him down with her persistence. Samson finally revealed that his strength lay in his uncut hair, a symbol of his Nazarite vow, Judges 16, 17. While he slept, Delilah had his hair shaved, and the Philistines seized him, gouged out his eyes, and imprisoned him in Gaza. Judges 16, 18, minus 21. Samson's time in prison was a period of humiliation and suffering. Yet, his hair began to grow back, symbolizing the possibility of redemption. During a Philistine celebration in honor of their god Dagon, Samson was brought out to entertain the crowd. Placed between the pillars of the temple, Samson prayed to God for strength one last time. Pushing with all his might, he collapsed the temple, killing himself and thousands of Philistines, thus achieving a final victory over Israel's enemies. Judges 16.23.30 Samson's life is a complex narrative of divine empowerment and human frailty. His extraordinary strength and feats against the Philistines were clear signs of God's presence and power. However, his personal choices often contradicted his divine calling, leading to his eventual downfall. Despite his flaws, Samson is remembered in the Hall of Faith in Hebrews 11, indicating that his faith in God's power was ultimately recognized and honored. Samson's story serves as a reminder of the importance of obedience and dedication to God. While his physical strength set him you. apart, it was his relationship with God that truly defined his purpose.
His life underscores the message that God can use even flawed individuals to accomplish His will, but it also warns of the dangers of succumbing to personal weaknesses and straying from one's divine mission. In reflecting on Samson's life, it is essential to recognize the role of the Holy Spirit. In the Old Testament, the Spirit of the Lord came upon individuals for specific tasks and moments. For Samson, these moments were marked by extraordinary physical strength. In the New Testament, the Holy Spirit dwells within believers, empowering them to live according to God's will and enabling them to fulfill their divine purposes. As Ephesians 1, 13-14 and Romans 8, verse 9 remind us, the Holy Spirit is a seal of our inheritance and a mark of our belonging to Christ. The story of Samson also highlights the concept of the Nazirite vow, a unique form of dedication to God that involved specific lifestyle restrictions. These outward signs of dedication, abstaining from wine, avoiding contact with dead bodies, and not cutting one's hair, were meant to reflect an inner commitment to holiness and separation for God's service. For Samson, this vow was a source of his strength, but it also came with significant responsibilities and expectations. Samson's interactions with the Philistines, particularly his marriages and romantic entanglements, reveal the complexities of his character. His desire to marry a Philistine woman, his relationship with Delilah, and his visit to a prostitute all demonstrate a pattern of making choices based on personal desires rather than divine guidance. These actions often led to conflict and consequences that affected not only Samson but also the broader Israelite community. One of the most striking aspects of Samson's story is his final act of redemption, blinded and imprisoned. Samson's prayer for strength and his subsequent destruction of the Philistine temple highlight a return to his divine purpose. In his death, Samson achieved a significant victory over Israel's enemies, fulfilling the angel's prophecy that he would begin to deliver Israel from the Philistines. This act of sacrificial redemption echoes the themes of deliverance and restoration that run throughout the Bible. For contemporary readers, Samson's story offers several lessons. It underscores the importance of maintaining a strong relationship with God and adhering to His commands. It also highlights the dangers of allowing personal desires and weaknesses to overshadow one's divine calling. Additionally, Samson's life serves as a testament to God's grace and the possibility of redemption, even for those who have strayed from their path. In conclusion, the narrative of Samson is a powerful account of divine strength, human weakness, and the enduring presence of God's Spirit. Despite his flaws and failures, Samson's faith and final act of redemption secure his place in the biblical hall of faith. His story encourages believers to trust in God's power, submit to his will, and recognize the transformative presence of the Holy Spirit in their lives. By doing so, they can fulfill their divine purposes and experience the fullness of God's blessings, just as Samson ultimately did. Samson's life as narrated in the book of Judges, reveals the complexities of divine empowerment and human frailty. Chosen by God to deliver Israel from the Philistines, Samson's extraordinary strength and dramatic exploits highlight his divine purpose. However, his personal flaws and poor decisions often conflicted with his calling. Despite his failures, Samson's story underscores the power of repentance and redemption, his final act of destroying the Philistine temple exemplifies the fulfillment of God's plan despite human weakness. Samson's narrative encourages believers to trust in God's strength, submit to His will, and embrace the transformative power of His grace.